Hello world, Leon here, and this is how you deploy a testnet faucet for any EVM blockchain in one click. So first thing is go to 0x deploy and go to the faucet EVM template. Down here, there's a button called deploy. I'm going to open this. By default, it opens up in Vercel. And I'm going to create a new repo to host uh, the site. So I'm going to call it test faucet. I'm going to create. Now that it's deployed, I'm going to go and add some environment variables. So I'm going to go back to the project, go to settings, environment variables, and I'm going to start adding in some variables. So we have a handful and it's listed in the readme here. So the first is the private key, RPC URL, cooldown, so on and so forth. So down here we have some explanations on what each of them does. So first is the private key, which is the key used to issue the tokens. So I'm gonna paste this in. Uh, to get your private key, there are a couple ways. If you have MetaMask, you can always follow these instructions. For example, you go to uh, MetaMask, you hit these three buttons, account details, export private key, paste in your password, and you can get your private key that way. I already have a uh, private key set up here that I'm going to uh, use. So this has some testnet funds uh, listed here. Okay. Next is the RPC URL. So this has some girly funds. So I'm going to go to this RPC and get the girly uh, URL. So this is under Ethereum testnet Curly, my copy, paste it in. Next is the cooldown. This is the amount of hours the user must wait to receive funds. So if I set this to um, two, the user would have to wait every two hours to receive more testnet funds. Next is the value. So the value is in the smallest unit. Uh, for example, this is in way. So there's a little converter you can use to convert uh, ETH to way. So I'll do 0 0.00123, and we'll use this value, the smallest unit, um, here. Next is the uh, HCAPTCHA site key, and this is used to uh, verify if you're a bot or not. So first thing is to sign, and sign in and create an account. I already have an account, so I'm going to sign in. Go to sites. And I have the key um, right here. So I'm going to copy. This is your public key. Next is to get the secret. So the secret is used to verify if the captcha is correct or not. Here's the link to get the key. Copy secret key. Last is the Redis URI. So Redis is a database that keeps track of the users and when they last uh, receive the funds. So this is used to check how long um, they have to wait to receive funds again. So this works for any Redis URI. In this example, I'll use the Redis cloud. So this is used to connect to the CLI. If I open this in my editor, here's the full URI. Um, you just need to copy this bit here. And that's it. Now I can go and save, go back to deployments, and redeploy. Once it's deployed, we can test it out. 
So here's the testnet faucet. I can now open MetaMask, connect to the correct uh, network. So I'm going to pick Gurley. And I'm going to get some funds from uh, to this address. So I'm going to copy the address, paste it in. Here's the captcha. This uses H captcha, which is more privacy centric than the recaptcha. I'm going to select the ladybugs, request funds, and I should get a transaction. So let's check this on the block explorer. It's successful, and uh, I received 0 0.00123 ETH. That's great. So if I go back and I try to do this again, refresh, paste in my uh, address again, and request funds, I should get an error because I've requested uh, too many times in a short amount of time. Please wait two hours before requesting again. And that's how you do it. Thanks.